Okay, let's get you back to our juicy question of the afternoon. Yeah, a recent study found parents have, I can't believe this number, Kudive, 2,184 arguments with each of their kids. That's a lot of arguments. That's like, that is well, that's like what, 365, mean, that's, that's like oh my goodness, seven like, or eight a day, Come right? On. <laughs> and then depending on how many kids you have, right? right? So, so we asked what's the third most common reason parents argue with their kids. I mean, there's just such a multitude of you said cleaning their room, yeah, clean. I said homework, listening, if, if it's girls, their hair and their clothes, okay, yeah, things there, like that. I can't, you know, there's just there's too many to, to narrow it to one, okay? Well, the number two, not eating healthy. Mo yes, not yeah, eating Yeah, you know, that's a, I could see that because, you know, as a kid, you know, fortunately you have the metabolism for the most part to eat junk. Sure, and then, you know, kids' meals yeah. are usually like chicken fingers, you know, macaroni and cheese and stuff. Especially when they're little kids, you know, like two and three, like my three kids are like, here, have this great broccoli. And they don't like it, yeah. It's a, te a texture thing. Yeah. Well, okay, the number two most common reason for arguing was untidy bedrooms, and the number one was not finishing everything on their plate. Yeah, that, and those are all sort of like old school things, to so like finish that all on your plate. My mom was a stickler for that. Yeah. Like we could not get up from the table. And my grandmother was the enforcer. She was like this, oh, she, old Puerto Rican woman she's still alive 92 but she would be like <laughs> she's still enforcing it now yeah, she's still when I go over to she's like do you gotta clean up huh what what is this I'll be like dang you still got still saucy I'm telling you